How is it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at another beer from Stonehooker Brewing Company out there in Port Credit, Ontario. Today's beer is going to be their Lakeshore Lager coming in at 4.8% alcohol by volume. It's uh, classified on the, clan, on the can as a uh, European style lager. Um, don't know exactly what that means. I mean, Czech Pilsner, German, Bach, who knows? Um, could be anything, but I'm guessing it'll be like a light Hellas lager, something like that, you know? So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. In the mood for a nice, cold, refreshing lager before the game starts here. So, I um, figured, yeah, let's get a crack poured, see how it is. I had their uh, Nor'easter... IPA a couple days back and really enjoyed that one uh, Really nice sessionable IPA uh, Yeah, just a fun time. So I'm um, yeah excited for this one and um, Yeah, it looks really really nice. It's got a little bit of haze to it. Yeah, almost like a wheat beer kind of color to the beer um, Yeah, looks nice a nice like golden yellow hazy kind of color. It's got like this brightness to it as well. Can't really see it on the camera, but there's like this really nice, just bright, almost lemonade-y kind of color uh, when you hold it to the light. Um, really cool. It had a finger of a bright white soapy kind of head fading for the most part, but yeah, looks nice. Tons of carbonation on the glass there. So um, yeah, nice looking lager. Let's get a sniff. All right, definitely getting a slight like grassy, citrusy, coriander kind of aroma from the hops there. Uh, nice, um, yeah, just grainy cereal grain, kind of like barley, uh, something like that going on. Um, yeah, like a sweet white bread, something like that. It's got that uh, lager aroma, slightly sulfuric kind of thing going on. Um, yeah, like often described as like wet cardboard, that kind of thing, you know. But it smells like a nice lager. I mean, that smells pretty proper. So let's get a taste, shall we? Cheers. Yeah. There she goes. Just a clean, refreshing, uh, just well-balanced lager. I mean, it's got nice flavor to it, but it's still wicked light, wicked easy drinking. There's almost like a lemony kind of thing going on. Yeah, some sort of like lemony, honey kind of thing in the background there. Um, really good. I mean, it's your basic lager, you know. Uh, you get the uh, malts, bit of malts, a uh, little bit of like a grassy hop, slight bitterness, but not a lot at all. Um, just super easy drinking. Um, yeah, just a nice crushable beer you could drink tons of. Um, this would be a great beer to order at a bar with your buddies, you know, watching the game, um, having some wings, stuff like that. Like, this would be the perfect kind of beer for that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all you want from a... Uh, pale lager kind of thing you know um so yeah pretty cool stuff um lakeshore lager yeah there you go it is what it says it is i mean really good stuff as for a rating on it this is yeah just a lager i could drink lots and lots of just really easy drinking tasty um really digging the slight bitterness as well that's like right on the back end of the tongue there um, just really easy drinking. So I'd probably give this one. I don't know. Like a 83, 84. Right around there. Really good stuff. So uh, yeah. There we go. Stonehooker Brewing Company's Lakeshore Lager. Let me know what y'all think of this beer. Or any of uh, Stonehooker's other beers. I'm going to have to... See if I can find some more of their beers. They make some really nice, easy drinking brews, and uh, I'm digging it. So, there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And till the next time, cheers.